Crikey. <laughs> Don't do me like that. So I did not start the year off strong. I did not start the year off strong either. <laughs> and now my hips feel like shit. Wow. so much for clicking on this video and being here today. So today's video is gonna be kind of a healthy reset video. So for the past week or two, I've been feeling pretty shitty. I've had a lot of anxiety. My food choices honestly haven't been the best. It's Saturday when I'm filming this. It's gonna be going up on Sunday, but since it's Saturday, it's the weekend, I figured I would take today to try and set myself up for success this week. Um, you know, get myself in a good mindset, get my space organized. There are a few chores that I've been actively avoiding um, this week, as I do. I, that's just what I do. I avoid all chores. One of them being laundry. I have this really bad habit. I feel like some of you might relate to this. I have a really bad habit. I have a, you can't see it right now, but I have a laundry basket filled to the brim of laundry that I dump out on my bed every day to get clean clothes. But then instead of putting them away, I put them back in the laundry basket so I can sleep on my bed. It's like a cycle. I wake up, I dump the clothes on the bed. They stay on the bed all fucking day until it's nighttime where they go back in the basket instead of where they're supposed to go. The closet, the drawers, anywhere. But yeah, so that's the goal for this video. Hopefully it can inspire or encourage some of you if you have been going through a rough patch as well. It is spring, ladies. It is spring and it is our time to bloom. I am sick of being dead. Cheers! So we got some tidying up done um, in the kitchen as you saw and now I'm going to do some yoga. For a bit in 2020, I would say like a month or two, I was so good. I did so well at doing my daily yoga. I woke up, I did it every morning. Unfortunately, I've lost that habit, which is really sad because when I was doing yoga, it was the best I ever felt. And now my hips feel like shit. So I figured today, especially since it is so shitty outside, I'm hoping I can go on a walk later, but if not, um, I at least did this exercise here. I at least moved my body a little bit. So now I'm going to do some yoga. Crikey. <laughs> Don't do me like that. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna get some journaling done. I typically, whenever I feel like I am disorganized and I have no control over anything, I find that journaling, this is actually Zach's advice to me, he told me this, but I feel like journaling or writing down everything you have to do um, in a list, it makes it seem a lot easier. It makes it seem like all the things you have to do are not so much, it's not so overwhelming because it's all just in front of you and you can check them off as you go. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some journaling. I use this journal for my like to-do list, everything I have to do. And then I use this journal for like my daily affirmations. Daily affirmations typically help a lot with my anxiety. Hello everyone. There he is. It's been almost a month since I journaled last, which is not good. Yeah, my last entry was January 25th. So I did not start the year off strong. I did not start the journey. year off strong either. But you can always try again. That's the point of this video. It's well, a that's healthy the cool reset. thing about bullet journaling too, is that you can quit and then you pick it up and you don't feel like you wasted any Yeah, of it. you don't gotta feel bad. You don't have to go through all your empty pages that you missed. There's years of starting and quitting in this thing, baby. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the what's the plan for today? I want to exercise in some capacity. One hack that's really cool about writing your daily goals is that if you're like me and you're really hard on yourself and you talk down on yourself a lot and you feel like you don't do anything and you don't do enough, it really helps you to remember all the things that you have done. And then you can look back and you're like, oh, wait a minute, maybe I'm not as big of a piece of crap as I thought I was. And I actually have been doing things. So not only does it help you do more things because you're like more accountable, but it also helps you realize 
that you actually do things instead of feeling like you're a piece of crap all the time. So write down the things that you've already done. Yes. Because then you won't forget that you did it. Exactly. And you're not starting from zero. Something that I find helps a lot with my anxiety is daily affirmations. So I'm gonna write my affirmations and they're just like little reminders, little sentences that remind me, that bring me down to earth when my anxiety is really bad. I find that in the morning, if I write my affirmations and get myself in the right mindset, um, positive mindset, that like positive mindset follows me throughout the day. I focus on what I, can control and let go of what I cannot. Ooh, yeah, it's fucking nasty. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my word. It looks like you're looking into a dystopian wasteland. It's what it feels like. <laughs> it's like not even any cars on the road. It is time, everyone. This fucking huge thing of laundry, it is time to put it away. Like I said, it has been going back and forth for like a week. Ooh, cute, cute. It is so stormy and rainy. This was not the day I expected for my healthy reset, but that's okay. What it's showing is that you can get back on track any day. Does it have to be a perfect day? No, it's just gotta be a day. The worst thing about chores, in my opinion, is that they're never ending. Like, I'm just gonna have to do this again in a few days. There's no escape. There's no freedom. This is my life until I die. Brace yourself, you're about to see in the closet, and it's scary. I warned you, it's scary. Oh God. One of these days, I need to take down all the stuff on the top shelf and organize it, but that day is not today. Ooh, I'm old and do ya. All right, so I got through most of the laundry. I just have a lot of like socks and stuff I have to organize. Okay, I lied. I lied. I thought that was way too easy. I knew it was way too easy because I put everything away in like 10 minutes, but it's because I forgot about my other pile that I keep over there. So I have my pile that I move back and forth from the basket and then I have my pile I move back and forth from the bench. Go get him. I'm supposed to get him. It finally stopped raining. It took all day, but beautiful. It is time for our nightly sweet treat. So we recently bought this ninja creamy machine. One, because Zach kept getting TikToks and he couldn't escape them, but also because um, we've been having a few too many sweet treats recently. Unhealthy sweet treats, I should say. I would describe it as like an elevated blender. It makes super delicious frozen treats. So like ice cream, sorbet, and you get to use super simple ingredients. So it does keep it a little bit healthier. So what you're seeing now is us making two different ice cream treats. One is with apple pie filling actually and cashew milk. And the other is frozen bananas and strawberries, water, and Splenda. So basically you put all your ingredients in the frozen cups and then you freeze them until they are completely frozen. The machine lets you add mix-ins after you blend. So we were gonna add Biscoff cookies to the um, apple pie one to mimic pie crust, but unfortunately that one was not frozen in time. So you're gonna have to come back in a new vlog to see that one. Only the strawberry banana one um, ended up freezing, which honestly is fine because this is a healthy vlog. All right, this is our healthy vlog. We've honestly only ever used this machine once before this video. Um, so not to give spoiler alerts, but it worked much better the first time. It's frozen. <laughs> All right, it's time to watch the magic happen. So yeah, we just put, this one's very simple and healthy. Like honestly, it's probably so low cal that I won't be surprised if it needs a little zhuzhing. But it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, so this works. is the creamy machine, the Ninja Creamy. You put the lid on and it pushes the blade all the way through. It's very nifty. We've done this once before, so we're basically professionals. All right, so you put it in there. And twist it up till it and locks it clicks in, place. in. Then, because it's just fruit and water, basically, I figure the sorbet setting yes. is the one. Oh, yeah. And it's done. Oh, no. Powdery. Actually, really good. See, isn't it actually pretty good? Yeah, I was oh, worried because it? it looked kind of powdery, but it's actually not. 
like if it, if you push it, it kind of melts it. Yeah, it's really creamy. For some reason, it looks really powdery. But it's not. That shit's bomb. That's so good. Jeez, and that's just fresh fruit, water, and Splenda. 150, 200 cows for the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, look. You can kind of see down. It got more dense and like... Okay, and creamy down and there. And creamy down there. Wow. What a way to end a healthy day. A healthy sweet treat. Healthy day with my bae. <laughs> hey, do you want some of this? Nah, I'm okay. Oh. <laughs> ah!